for coming to the History of Diving Museum in Isla Mirada, Florida. We're pet friendly. We like our dogs, leashed, nice dogs, cats, rabbits, pigs, whatever you have that you want to bring down, we can walk around. We're going to show Mako an introductory video in our research library that tells her a little bit about what's going on when she gets through the exhibits. But Mako, let's take a minute and walk around the retail store and see if you have anything you want to take home. seemingly impossible dreams have come true. Man has left footprints on the moon, but has yet to walk the ocean floor. Bauer, Research Diving History. Published and collected antique diving equipment. This museum is based on their collection, one of the largest in the world. Upon entering the museum, you will venture through a timeline of diving. Over 4,000 years of history from breath hole diving to modern scuba. A trained free diver can hold his breath for six to eight minutes. Mako, now that we're done with the video, it's time to go look in the exhibits. You're gonna see all kind of neat stuff. Not only is it pet friendly, it's kid friendly. So have fun walking around and we'll see you when you get out. Come on Mako, let's go see what's in the exhibits. Come on, good dog. So Mako, these are improbables. They may have worked, but probably not. Let's go see some more. Our early helmets from the 1800s and early commercial diving. It took a lot of people to keep one person underwater and a diver working. And right around the corner, come on, let's go this way, we'll find out about the diving hoods that made it so much easier. Mako, let's look at the diving hoods. We're gonna take a picture of you in one of these once we leave the exhibits. They opened up a whole new area of marine biology, underwater photography, salvage work, and treasure hunting. This is our treasure room. Come on and look. Well, Mako, this is a first. You're inside a, a diving bell that the breath hold divers used to use to salvage. Let's go look at some of the other exhibits. Come on. Good dog. Mako, let's look in the treasure room. The diving hoods allowed a lot of salvaging. We've got silver bars, we have things that came off of the 1733 fleet, all up and down the keys. It's really amazing. And of course, what story. Come on, Mako, let's go this way. Come on, Mako. Let's go look at 20,000 leagues. Everybody has seen this on TV the big underwater submarines. You can see ship's bells and wheels. How about this? Look at that. <laughs> I know, it's kind of scary, it's so loud. Let's go look at our really great signature piece, the Parade of Nations. Let's watch what the military guys are doing. We'll come back and see the Parade of Nations in a few minutes. This is where all the commercial divers are, have their equipment and a tribute to everything that our military has done for us. We have a great touch screen that you can walk through different branches of the military and learn about different missions and so forth. It's really great and it's Paul friendly. Now we're going down to the lights and the communication. How did they talk to each other back then? Come on, let's go down here. This is the regulators and the rebreathers. This is what everybody is wanting to see nowadays, and it started back in the 1800s. Come on, and of course our little fish friends. Do you know where Nemo lives? Nemo lives down in the abyss with all of our one atmosphere suits. It's great. They're huge, and they go down thousands of feet to retrieve things and do research. It's amazing. What do you think, Mako? What do you think? Mako, we saved this for the last. It's about halfway through the exhibits, but it's the Parade of Nations, and it talks about the best helmet from around the world. So let's listen to Dr. Joe and see what he teaches us about the different styles.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the museum and welcome to the Parade of Nations. I'm Dr. Drew Bauer, the founder of the museum, and I'd like to take you on a trip around the world, the world of international diving helmets. We're standing in a semicircle of 45 helmets, the best artistic creations of 24 countries. Each country that has ever made a helmet is represented here. This circle is a monument to man's long-standing quest to explore the deep seas. It is a unique assortment and symbol that has never been attempted anywhere before. These treasures of history were selected from the world's largest collection of diving apparatus as the best from each country. We are pleased to share it with you. Join us as we experience the Parade of Nations. The circle of helmets is arranged in geographic patterns of continents and countries. To your left. Hey, Mako, we've seen everything. Let's go outside and take your picture in the helmet. We're done with the exhibits for today. Come on, let's go. Glad you enjoyed it today. Mako, we're glad that you came to the History of Diving Museum today, and it seemed like you had a good time. So next time you go to the dog park, be sure to tell all of your friends that we're pet friendly and that we look forward to seeing them here soon. And we tell everybody, don't drive by, dive in. Come on, come on, Mako, come on, Mako. Mako, come on. Yeah, they run big, but then they... Okay. Yeah, so large. Okay, Michael, come on.